Hello, this is Linda with uh, LL Creation Studio, and I have a little uh, journal that I wanted to share with you today. And she is different for me. This is the first time that I have tried this. It is Upcycling a Reader's Digest Book. And so what that means is I've taken all of, i got glue all over my fingers, uh, excuse that please. Uh, that I've taken the insides out of a Reader's Digest book that uh, I bought on Etsy and I have finished it off inside just like I would a normal book uh, that I make, a journal. But this time I, I really like this swirly uh, marbleized cover and the red and the blue so I left that and I just added uh, a coffee stain doily paper doily here and then this is a hand crocheted doily and then I put one of Prima's little fancy uh, pink flowers right here that has the pearl uh, in the center and this is lace right here a little pink frilly lace it's a really pretty little flower and then on the back on the spine I did the canvas cloth that I have and I painted it and then stamped it and then it has the cheesecloth front and back. And then here is just the back of the uh, cover. And like I said, this I just antiqued it up a little bit. That's what this is with, uh, I think it was vintage photo, front and back, to, to make it look more worn. I mean, this book was in perfect shape. I really hated to, to take it apart. But like I said, it's the first time I've done that. And probably the last time that I, I'll do it. Uh, but this is Cosmic uh, because of the uh, marbleizing on the front. I named her Cosmic. And she's five and a half by seven and three quarters. And she's got 140 pages and four envelopes. So let's take a look at her inside. And this was the, uh, I put in Tim Holtz, uh, one of his paper pack pages right here. And then did the diagonal pocket and has a nice size vintage looking journaling card and then this is Tim Holtz fabric um, it's part of the spine uh, so nothing is you know this is the canvas fabric and then this is Tim Holtz fabric and then we'll just take a quick look inside and she's got some beautiful papers some vintage looking papers stamping that's coffee stained blue notebook paper an antique mat and here is a full size envelope for her and she's got a stamped of a uh, very free form heart and she's edged in the vintage photo and then she has the more of the freeform stamping there and a little this is out of one of my old uh, calendars that you're going to see quite a few of those in here And you can see more of the fabric. Naturally, she has cardstock, regular paper, coffee stain paper. Uh, here's a double pocket. And uh, this is a library card that I've painted to go along with the, the theme of this book. A real cute, frilly bag. It's a fun. The stamping's fun and youthful and it's just a, got different colors going on. And I thought by doing a uh, upcycling of a, a book like Reader's Digest, which are made very well, and uh, 
I can bring down the time that it takes to make a journal, which also brings down the price for you guys. So that's what I why I have tried this, and we'll see how it goes on my Etsy shop, whether I will continue uh, doing that or not. Uh, normally, all my other journals are always made by hand from scratch. And this one's totally, you know, made the same way. It's just that I took out all the book pages and, and inserted these and did a, uh, some work on the front. Some scalloped edges here. So you have a lot of room to write, uh, scrapbook, whatever you wish. that. Now we got some coffee stained yellow notebook paper. All of the uh, pages have been edged with a, uh, I think this is uh, espresso coffee. Tim Hopes. And we're almost there with Cosmic. And then you have two pockets here. This pocket is just like the one on the front. And so uh, she didn't need a tie or anything. Uh, she's still got plenty of room to expand with your stuff. Uh, but every pocket had embellishment in it. She's got a lot of embellishments. And like I said, uh, hopefully we can uh, see how she does on my Etsy shop and whether I will continue and she's been edged around here too uh, with coffee all the way around and 140 pages and she's five and a half by uh, seven and three quarters and so I hope that you like the idea of uh, upcycling uh, Reader's Digest book and let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.